In the heart of the Himalayas, where the air thins and the earth reaches for the heavens, a story of unprecedented ambition is unfolding. This is the tale of China's audacious plan to build the world's most powerful hydroelectric dam on the Yarlung Songpo River. It's a narrative that intertwines cutting-edge engineering, geopolitical chess, and the delicate balance between progress and preservation. Our story begins with the Yarlung Tsangpo, a river born from the icy tears of Himalayan glaciers. For millennia, it has carved its path through the Tibetan Plateau, a liquid lifeline sustaining countless ecosystems and cultures. As it flows eastward, the river swells with the contributions of countless tributaries, gaining strength and volume. But the true magic happens at the Great Bend. Here, the river performs a dramatic U-turn, plummeting over 2,000 meters in a short stretch, a drop more vertigo-inducing than the Grand Canyon. This natural wonder has caught the eye of Chinese engineers, who see in its tumultuous waters the potential for unprecedented power generation. In the bustling offices of Beijing, far from the roar of the Yarlung Tsangpo, a team of China's finest engineers and planners are hard at work. Their vision? A hydroelectric dam capable of generating 60 gigawatts of power, three times the output of the Three Gorges Dam, currently the world's largest. This isn't just about building a dam says lead engineer Wei Chen, his eyes alight with excitement. It's about pushing the boundaries of what's possible, about writing a new chapter in the story of human ingenuity. But how do you build such a colossus in one of the most remote and challenging environments on Earth? The answer lies not in traditional dam construction, but in a plan so bold it seems plucked from the pages of science fiction. Instead of erecting a massive wall across the river, the engineers propose boring a tunnel through the mountain itself. This wouldn't be just any tunnel. At 40 to 50 kilometers long, it would rival some of the world's most ambitious underground constructions. The concept is elegantly simple. Divert water from the river into this massive tunnel, where it would rush through a series of nine underground power stations before rejoining the river downstream. It's a run-of-the-river system on a scale never before attempted. The beauty of this design is that it harnesses the river's natural power without the need for a large reservoir. This could potentially minimize some of the environmental impacts we've seen with traditional megadams. To understand why China would embark on such an ambitious project, we need to look at the bigger picture. With a population of 1.4 billion, China's energy needs are staggering. The country consumes twice as much electricity as the United States, and eight times more than Russia. Currently, much of this power comes from coal, a major contributor to global warming. The Yarlung Sangpo Dam represents a significant step towards cleaner energy, aligning with China's pledge to peak carbon dioxide emissions before 2030 and achieve carbon neutrality before 2060. But energy isn't the only consideration. In a world where climate change is making water an increasingly precious resource, control over major rivers translates to geopolitical power. The Yarlung Sangpo, which becomes the Brahmaputra in India and the Jamuna in Bangladesh is a crucial water source for hundreds of millions of people downstream. No epic is complete without formidable challenges, and the Yarlung Tsangpo Dam project faces them in abundance. First, there's the sheer remoteness of the site. Getting equipment and materials to the Great Bend is a logistical nightmare. They are essentially building in one of the most inaccessible places on Earth. Then there's the site's geology. The region is highly seismically active, with a history of powerful earthquakes. In 1950, an 8.6 magnitude quake struck nearby, causing tremors felt as far away as Norway. Building a megastructure in such unstable ground is a daunting prospect. Landslides pose another threat. The steep mountain slopes are prone to sudden collapses, sometimes large enough to block the river entirely. These natural dams can burst catastrophically, posing risks to any downstream infrastructure. But perhaps the most complex challenge is ecological. The Yarlung Tsangpo Gorge is a biodiversity hotspot, home to over 60% of the plant and animal species found in Tibet. Many of these species exist nowhere else on Earth. A nature expert in this region mentions that they are still learning about this place. They found something new not long ago. There might be more they don't know about yet. Big changes could affect a lot of things there. As if the technical and environmental challenges weren't enough, the dam project has also stirred up a geopolitical storm. India and Bangladesh, the downstream neighbors, have expressed serious concerns about the project. They fear that China could control the flow of this crucial water source, potentially affecting millions of farmers and ecosystems that depend on the river. 
Some experts in the region have expressed concerns about the potential impacts of large-scale water projects on downstream agriculture and livelihoods. There's also worry about the dam's impact on sediment flow. Rivers carry vital nutrients and soil particles that fertilize floodplains and deltas. If the dam traps this sediment, it could affect agricultural productivity downstream and even change the geography of the Bengal Delta. In response to China's plans, India has announced its own hydroelectric project on the river, a 10-gigawatt dam seen as a strategic move to establish water usage rights. It's a high-stakes game of hydrological chess, with each country vying for control over this precious resource. It's worth noting that this isn't China's first foray into mega-dam construction. The country has built an estimated 87,000 dams over the past six decades, including the massive Three Gorges Dam on the Yangtze River. Completed in 2006, the Three Gorges Dam was a landmark achievement in hydroelectric engineering. It generates about 100 billion kilowatt hours of electricity annually, playing a crucial role in China's energy strategy. However, it also displaced over a million people and had significant environmental impacts. After learning a lot from projects like the Three Gorges Dam, the Yarlung Tsangpo project represents the next evolution in China's dam building expertise incorporating lessons from past experiences to minimize negative impacts. The proposed dam would employ cutting-edge technology to maximize power generation while minimizing environmental impact. The series of nine underground power stations would work in tandem, each contributing to the overall energy output. You can think of it as a hydroelectric assembly line. As the water rushes through the tunnel, it passes through each station, generating electricity at every step. By the time it rejoins the river, we've extracted an unprecedented amount of energy. The system could potentially generate up to 300 billion kilowatt hours annually, enough to power tens of millions of homes. Moreover, the run of the river design means that unlike traditional dams, this project wouldn't create a large reservoir, potentially reducing some environmental impacts. Despite these technological innovations, environmental concerns remain at the forefront of the debate. The Yarlung Tsongpo Gorge is one of the world's deepest and longest canyons, its unique geography creating a haven for biodiversity. This isn't just about a few species. We're talking about an entire ecosystem that's evolved in isolation for millions of years. The dam could disrupt water temperatures, alter river flow patterns, and even affect local weather. The consequences could be far-reaching and unpredictable. There's also the question of how climate change might impact the project. As global temperatures rise, the Himalayan glaciers that feed the Yarlung Tsangpo are melting at an accelerating rate. How will this affect the river's flow in the coming decades? And how might changing rainfall patterns influence the dam's operation? As we near the end of our tale, we're left contemplating a future where water may become as valuable as oil. Climate change is making rainfall patterns less predictable and growing populations are putting increased pressure on water resources. Some experts predict that future conflicts may be fought not over oil, but over water. Projects like the Yarlung Tsangpo Dam highlight the increasing strategic importance of transboundary rivers. Control over water resources is becoming a key factor in regional power dynamics. The Yarlung Tsangpo Dam isn't just about energy. It's about who holds the power in Asia for decades to come. As of 2024, the Yarlung Tsangpo Dam remains in the planning stages. It's mentioned in China's 14th five-year plan, 2021 to 2025, signaling serious intent. The state-owned Power Construction Corp of China has conducted preliminary surveys, and smaller hydropower projects are already operational upstream. But many questions remain. When will construction begin? How will China address the environmental and geopolitical concerns? And how will this mega-project reshape the future of the region? One thing is certain, the story of the Yarlung Tsangpo Dam is far from over. It's a modern epic, a tale of human ambition colliding with the raw power of nature. As we watch this drama unfold, we're reminded of the complex interconnections in our world, how a single project in a remote corner of Tibet can have ripple effects across continents. And that's the story of China's plan for the world's most powerful dam. What are your thoughts on this mega project? If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more stories about incredible engineering feats and their global impact. Don't forget to ring the notification bell to catch our future uploads. Got ideas for our next video? Drop them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.